We event qualification for Uber Cup in China. Bienvenue à tous pour cette demi-finale féminine qualificative pour la compétition Uber Cup en Chine qui aura lieu au mois d'avril. Avec moi, aux commentaires, nous avons Jeff Chigoli avec son fameux commentaire « Lovely, lovely, Jeff <rire> !» Oh my, oh my, oh my, lovely, 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 welcome to this uh, first semi-finals of the women team championships as my colleague Raja Roshdi mentioned. This is a qualification for the Total Energies Thomas Uber Cup later in Chengdu, China. South Africa versus Nigeria. Raja, tell us how South Africa got to the semi-finals. L'Afrique du Sud est sortie premier de son groupe. Euh, face à face à l'Algérie dans son groupe euh, elle avait euh, donc euh, donc il y avait donc dans le groupe A Afrique du Sud Algérie mais tous les tous les résultats sont disponibles sur Tonalman Software j'ai un trou de mémoire oui 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 Well done, well said. Uh, uh, we have uh, this uh, semi-finals. In the other semi-finals, uh, uh, we have Algeria facing it off uh, with uh, Uganda. All these matches are being brought to you live by the BCA, both on our Facebook channel and YouTube. Lovely atmosphere right here at Cairo Stadium. Oui, uh, c'est vrai que il uh, y a uh, une super uh, ambiance uh, sur le terrain. Les joueurs se respectent. Sur le terrain, nous avons uh, uh, c'est le simple dame numéro 1 avec uh, Joanita Scholz qui représente l'Afrique du Sud et uh, Zainab Alabi qui représente le Nigeria. Simple dame numéro 1 euh, qui promet bien des choses, mais euh, qui, euh, qui a permis déjà à Juanita Schultz de marquer un premier point. Euh, premier set remporté 21-7. Et là, elle mène 11-2 dans le deuxième set. On voit que le, vraiment, Juanita est vraiment au-dessus de la Nigériane. I was just mentioning that uh, Juanita um, has uh, put the first step. Uh, to the South African team by winning um, the first set 21-7 uh, and leading the, le the second set 11-2. Uh, this uh, showed that uh, Joanita is really uh, uh, stronger than the Nigeri Nigerian first uh, single players. Uh, Nigeria who has uh, very uh, talented players, uh, they showed uh, good players, also former uh, Olympian uh, coming back on course uh, with Dorcas, uh, famous Dorcas. Uh, but uh, Juanita, who is uh, competing in the race to, uh, to only Paris 2024 Olympic Games, uh, is really uh, showing that uh, she's in shape and uh, ready to, uh, to go for the gold for her team. The BWF, uh, BCA, uh, in collaboration with the BWF, uh, very instrumental in uh, helping these athletes uh, uh, to qualify for the Paris uh, Olympic Games. Uh, as the head of the Road to Paris scholarship program, Raja, uh, what has the BCA and what tournaments has the BCA been supporting these players uh, to qualify for the Paris 2024 Olympics? 
Uh, so um, BCA, uh, with the support of uh, BWF, has uh, supported uh, the players who are uh, uh, s and have been selected to win the program. Uh, many tournaments has been uh, appointed uh, to be supported to those players and uh, help them to improve their world rank and uh, be uh, qualified for the next uh, Olympic Games in Paris. Uh, so the tournaments that have been supported uh, are uh, the, inter the International Challenge in Uganda and uh, Reunion uh, that, what happened, uh, that happened in 2023 uh, and also uh, Mauritius International uh, has been also one of the part of the tournaments that has been uh, uh, qualified to be uh, uh, su supporting tournaments. But also for the players who were in need, uh, there was also Benin uh, in the Future Series and the Cameroon uh, uh, tournaments and also Nigeria, which was also an uh, international uh, challenge. So six tournaments in 2023 has been uh, 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 helping the players to win more points and improve their uh, world rank uh, in that race. Definitely. Uh, something that the BCA is doing to make sure that uh, our players qualify for the Paris 2024 Olympics. But aside from qualifying, we are also concentrating on their competitive competitiveness at the games uh, with various scholarships uh, in various centers of excellence. Uh, we recently managed to get into partnerships with NVBA from Malaysia and of course uh, the center of excellence in Denmark, which has been also one of our key partners in developing our players and coaches in general. Yes, like, so here in the first uh, match, we can see like uh, Joanita is really uh, uh, improving her game. She's like uh, leading uh, the games, uh, very attack, attacking uh, all the shots. She's uh, being uh, very aggressive, uh, not giving the, any opportunity to uh, the Nigerian players to, uh, to take confidence on court. To so, um, Joanita is uh, really leading that, that, that game. So Alabi is a quite new player, but uh, we've seen uh, the resurgence of uh, Nigeria coming bringing new talent, bringing the older and more experienced uh, talent from their country to just, uh, you know, grab their dominance uh, in badminton in Africa. Uh, yes, uh, it, it's true that Nigeria has uh, been mixed uh, experienced players and uh, new upcoming uh, uh, players that we uh, haven't seen in any uh, continental championship, uh, bringing also juniors with them. But we can notice that uh, Nigeria is not the only uh, team who is doing it. Uh, we can see uh, that uh, other teams are bringing also uh, younger players and um, mixing them with the more experienced uh, players, sharing the knowledge, uh, sharing the experience, the attitude, monitoring the uh, younger player. Um, it's, uh, they, they are uh, transmitting, transferring the knowledge and uh, the mindset, the competitive mindset. Uh, Joanita taking the first match for the South Africans. 21-7, uh, 21-11. Uh, we've seen a trend uh, from these countries like South Africa, countries like Uganda, bringing new talent, nurturing them. And now we are seeing the results of this young, uh, upcoming uh, talent. Uh, playing really really well in a very short span of time do you think this is something that uh, more and more member associations or, uh, should adopt uh, yes definitely this is something that uh, it, it, it shows it, it show that uh, it is a, a way to uh, improve the level of the games and uh, the level of the players when you are mixing uh, different level uh, of players uh, mentoring uh, uh, younger players by experienced players, sharing their knowledge, sharing the mindset that you have to to get into a course. It's really important. Uh, 
So um, it, it is uh, something that uh, um, we can see more and more uh, in the team participating to different competition uh, in, in Africa, but also uh, in, in, the, in the world competition level. So uh, MAs are really uh, working hard to uh, uh, bring the new, new younger player and new players uh, to the, the international level. Yes, uh, the second singles match uh, about to go underway. This is the semi-finals, the first semi-finals between uh, South Africa and Nigeria in the women's team competition. On the other court, uh, Uganda facing it off uh, with Algeria. Currently, Ala Buksani coming back from injury in the lead 12-8. Uh, Yes, uh, we can see that in the second uh, semi-final um, we have uh, Algeria uh, against Uganda and uh, uh, Hala Buksani who was uh, injured uh, uh, one year ago uh, couldn't uh, participate uh, to, uh, to, to, to tournaments. Uh, and uh, Gladys Mbabazi, uh, who is uh, a, a player that we can see more and more in the international uh, uh, tournaments, uh, training uh, at the COE and uh, training in uh, international academies, uh, help her to uh, improve her level. And uh, we can see that uh, we have uh, some really great match for the single number one uh, in that second uh, semi-final. Really uh, long rallies, uh, now uh, um, Gladys uh, improving her level on courts, uh, leading the match 14-10. Uh, it will be an interesting match uh, in this uh, second uh, semi-final. Talking about the overall feel of the tournament right here in Egypt. Raja, we are seeing uh, Egypt really after the enhanced membership grant and also hosting the first para international on their soil make, becoming the second country to host a para international in Africa really really upping their game really having a magnificent tournament Egypt is really showing that uh, they want to uh, improve and uh, they want to uh, develop more and more uh, their players uh, at elite level uh, they uh, they are hosting an international uh, uh, tournament which is an international series uh, it's their second uh, continental uh, championship uh, that they are hosting uh, uh, lately uh, and uh, last uh, last few weeks ago they hosted the, their uh, first uh, para badminton championship um, so it really shows a, a, a good uh, way to uh, develop uh, their uh, talented players, give them exposure at uh, international level, and also helping uh, bring, bringing Africa uh, uh, more and more uh, present uh, at uh, para badminton uh, ac activities. Uh, not only the para badminton uh, championship that happens in Egypt, uh, also uh, in October there was uh, activities. Uh, organized uh, by BWF uh, related to uh, para badminton, uh, bringing the elite players, uh, bringing the elite players to uh, here in Egypt, and um, uh, coaches also, and uh, administrator uh, to to train uh, all those uh, stakeholders to develop uh, para badminton in Africa. Beautiful, beautiful. Lovely to see, and we urge more countries to come out to host uh, most of our championships because it elevates uh, the level of our players. Uh, continuing with this match, uh, Diane Olivier and uh, Sofiat Obanishola. Nigeria will uh, have. Uh, strong names difficult to say you you want to say. <laughs> Sofiat uh, 
Obanishola is a mixture of uh, Arabic and Nigerian. I don't know. I don't know her, but uh, she, we, what we can see is that uh, we never saw her uh, playing, and uh, since she uh, started the competition, uh, she uh, she she was uh, showing that uh, she could be a very good player. Uh, played uh, tactically uh, in a good way, uh, being very calm, uh, being very patient. Uh, it's she's controlling the the shuttle so um, it shows that Nigeria is bringing uh, players uh, on court bringing to uh, this championship but Jana Oliver also is a is, is a talented one uh, from South Africa uh, she's part of the national team uh, since a uh, few few years it will be an inter interesting uh, games uh, between uh, these two, those two players. Sofia uh, with nothing to lose, uh, yet uh, Diana more experienced, more seasonal, uh, having everything to prove uh, with the chance uh, to take uh, the South African lead uh, to 2-0. Well, Mbavazi on the other court uh, being able to level the score to 1-1 with her encounter with uh, Hala Buksani. Yeah, it uh, showed that uh, this uh, second uh, semi-final will be very interesting because uh, it's, it's a close game. Uh, first one, uh, one, first set uh, won by uh, Hala, second uh, set won by uh, Gladys. So uh, it will be a very, uh, very nice uh, shot. Uh, When you look at uh, this encounter between uh, South Africa and Nigeria. What uh, or which match do you think is going to be the tiebreaker? Raja Sofia taking an early lead. 10 6. Hollywood. The King of Hollywood. I never heard this, uh, <laughs> this sentence. That's crazy. <laughs> en français, on dit, uh, on dit pas. Uh, en français, on, on, aurait, on pourrait dire uh, elle a pris l'autoroute. She took the highway. Really? Do you think she's going to maintain the momentum and take this match? Uh, uh, giving a Nigerian equalizer. As I said, uh, it's an interesting match because uh, Sofia showed uh, some uh, very good skills in the, her previous matches uh, in the group stage. She's very calm. Uh, she's uh, playing uh, patient with patient. Um, so it's, it will be interesting to see how uh, Gianni will uh, reply after the uh, advice of the coach. Um, it will be interesting to know. Uh, it will be interesting to know what the coaches are uh, are providing uh, to as advice to to Gianni, uh, to uh, improve uh, and how she can reply to uh, to Sofia's games and rallies that she's proposing and she's giving to Gianni. Indeed, indeed. Uh, stay tuned. Keep it locked uh, on our Facebook page. 
YouTube channel for all these matches. Remember, after the team event, uh, we will also start the, indivi uh, the, the individuals. Ouais, alors les individuels vont commencer dans deux jours. Donc là, on est sur euh, la première demi-finale euh, donc qui concerne les femmes. À 18h, nous allons euh, diffuser, euh, toujours sur la chaîne euh, YouTube et euh, la page Facebook de, la, de Badminton Africa, la, les, les demi-finales euh, de la compétition hommes. Et demain, à partir de 15h, auront lieu euh, les finales hommes et femmes qualificative pour euh, les championnats du monde par équipe Thomas et Uber Cup en Chine. Donc vraiment, euh, likez, et, euh, likez la page euh, sur YouTube et euh, Facebook pour que vous ayez les notifications euh, lorsqu'il y aura des lives. Yeah, subscribe to our channels. Like our Facebook page. Et, et nous avons euh, la compagnie de euh, Anou, euh, le compatriote, euh, teammate de euh, l'équipe du, du Nigeria, qui va venir commenter avec nous. Indeed, uh, His Highness uh, Anou Kukubage. Anou Lua Kukubage. Welcome to the commentary box. But before Anu takes over the commentary here, famous for the chicken in uh, Abuja, uh, Raja, towards the end of last year, we had an amazing, amazing championships in Zimbabwe. Our under 15. <laughs> what uh, programs do you have for this uh, young, talented team uh, forming our talent pool for LA 2020? Oh, uh, so uh, the, it, it's true that we had an amazing championship, uh, continental championship in uh, Harare, uh, uh, in Zimbabwe, hosted uh, uh, with the Zimbabwe Badminton Association, led by the president, uh, Madam Chipo Zumburani. Uh, so uh, all the efforts uh, uh, had been put uh, by the, uh, the federation, to host the uh, championship All Africa Under 15 championship and the All Africa School championship. Um, so the winners of uh, the Under 15 at the African championship uh, will uh, benefit from uh, scholarships to go to train uh, in the international academies. And uh, being being. viewed uh, with uh, with the precision and a very uh, close uh, close uh, close uh, eyes indeed uh, indeed uh, lovely 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 as we say when we announce this championships uh, make sure you attend because lots and lots of plans are being implemented by the BCA to make sure that uh, our winners our players benefit the most uh, i have one of the beneficiaries uh, mr anuluwapo juona african champion olympian anu say hi to the people hello everyone uh, thank you very much for having me uh it's uh, it's a pleasure to be here and uh, to be commenting uh why my teammates are playing um, I'm actually enjoying the game and uh, it has really been fun since arrival in Egypt. So uh, I look forward to the other games and um, even uh, the two games that is being played on court right now uh, is really interesting and uh, it's a good watch for me. Thank you very much. Anu, as uh, one of the senior players uh, and also as uh, a player on the road to Paris qualification. Uh, the assistance that BCA has given you, how much has it helped you towards uh, your journey to qualify for the Olympics? Um, especially um, last year, um, 
uh, Malaysia uh, that I went for the um, training. The uh, assistant helped a lot. Uh, training in the academy, it really improved my game. And uh, as you can see, um, uh, apart from uh, some errors or something, it has really improved my techniques and uh, I have confidence in playing um, anybody like even up to the top athletes and I'm really looking forward to uh, give my best and uh, perform to the optimum. So the BC, um, BC um, scholarship that, uh, that I have been on has really helped me a lot because going for those tournaments and support, it really, uh, it really goes a long way and I really like it and I appreciate it. Yeah, what would you advise the other players? What do they need to do to get these opportunities, to get these scholarships? Well, uh, the thing is uh, they need to keep working hard and uh, make sure that they are on top of their game. And so, uh, to, from my understanding, uh, talent is being cultivated in Africa and uh, we are really cultivating it well and we are looking forward to compete with the other world. So, uh, with their uh, talent and their hard working and dedication with commitment, they should be able to get this scholarship and uh, prove, uh, um, prove that uh, they, have, uh, they, they earn it. Yes, sir, uh, indeed. Uh, I will lead uh, this commentary to Anu to continue taking us through this game between uh, teammate uh, Sofia and Diana from uh, South Africa. Yeah. Um, looking at this, uh, looking at the game, uh, I really enjoy it because uh, it's quite competitive, Nigeria and South Africa. So, for my prediction, I think um, uh, Nigeria is going. To, Nigeria and South Africa will be going to one-one uh, in the major counts. But uh, I'm also looking forward to other. Um, To other games right now, so um, Diana is really giving her best right now on the court, and she's performing her stroke very well. While right, Sophia is showing excellent to her shots, and uh, she's very perseverant in, in in her endeavor right now, and uh, she's really giving her best. That shot would have been a winner if that sh uh, if that sh uh, if it was inside the court, but uh, that was just unlucky. Wow, that was a shot, a good shot and a good angle from Sofia of Nigeria. Looks like Sofia is really holding her feet in this uh, in this particular game, and she is standing strong against uh, against Oliver from uh, from South Africa. Three straight points from. Four, five, four to seven, five. That was a very good techniques and a very good uh, strategy from Sophia. Looking forward to what Oliver have to do to counter our strategy. Um, first error from Oliver 
and also from uh, Sofia from losing the uh, point. Oh, that was a lucky shot. What a finisher. Uh, Sofia is really holding up to her own game in this, uh, in this uh, game. And uh, the first half has been on her, on her side. Um, uh, Oliver, has been, uh, Oliver is not getting an answer to her strategy yet. And uh, she's really getting her point. So... This second half of the second game, we're looking forward to what she has to bring to the game and hopefully uh, maybe she changed the, uh, change the game, but Sofia doesn't look like someone that is relenting or anytime soon. What's a good block from Oliver from South Africa? And in the second court, this uh, Uganda and Nigeria game are really tight and they are bringing in their ultimate best. Another, another, another net court from Oliver. Looks like it's a skill set, not just lucky. Three point from Oliver. Nice. Good defense from Sofia from of Nigeria. Oh, that was an uh, cheap officer got to. was a very good setup from Sophia. Uganda is taking the lead in this game. Uh, Gladys from uh, Uganda is uh, is on the match point. Uh,
That was a very good stroke from Sofia. Wow, what a drop shot. Match point from Sofia. Wow, what a finishing. That was a very good shot and a good job shot from Sofia of Nigeria. Uh, looks like my prediction is true. The major count is 1-1. One, one. South Africa 1, Nigeria 1. Here we go, welcome, welcome back to All Africa, Africa. Senior Championship 2023. Women's team event semi finals, first day. Yes, first game. Well done. First set, it was some minutes from your side, side. But, but second, second set, I think you managed to win. win. Just tell me how you feel about this and what were your main advice from the coach? From your side, make uh, uh, Hala leading the first set. And second set and third set. It was quite but good from your side, making sure that you are my own. Did you feel in the third set? And Nigeria represented by Dorcas Ajou and Isu Khan. And then you have confidence to win. Service does always make this thing right. Your expectation for the next matches and for you and that team to win this semi final? Yes, I expect my team to win. Congratulations, wish you the best and good luck to your team. And back to All Africa Senior Championship 2023. The semi finals, event. Sophia, you play against Diane 2 0. 21 13. 21 13 seems like quite controllable match. You manage well. So, how do you feel about your performance? Now, the 
tie is one all between Nigeria and South Africa. So what are your expectations in the next? So congratulations for you and your team and wish you all the best. Yeah, welcome back to the third women's singles in the Scots. Uh, we have here DJ Lawrence from South Africa competing against an Olympian, Dokas Adeshokon. Looking forward to this match because uh, Dokas has been a champion and she was off for some time, but uh, she's back fully on court. So I'm looking forward to utmost performance from both of them. Why on court two we have. Uh, Kobugabe Osna from Uganda and uh, Shiba from Algeria. Match is about to start. Two point lead from Deidre against Dokas. That wasn't quite a very good reception. Didn't see that coming. Nice match from from Dorcas. And uh, we have here Robert Sommer from uh, from South Africa. He will be doing the commentary also. No, no, how are you? I'm good, you? No, I'm also good, thanks. It's yeah. nice joining you here in the commentary box. Yeah? Yeah, that's no, really nice, yeah. So we've got a nice game on our hands here um, between Deirdre and Dorcas. Yeah. Um, what do you think is um, Ideally, speaking, Dorcas is literally supposed to win because uh, Deidre is uh, mostly well known as a doubles player. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she has been practicing the doubles and earning her double skills for like. Yes, now. Yeah, but of course, Deidre, she's had a good, a good tournament. She, uh, she took a strong game in uh, Algeria. She won a, a match. So I think it's going to be a really good match to watch. Um, yeah, yeah. It, I think it, anything can, hap can happen. Eh? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Of course, it is a match, and uh, it is not. Uh, it is not. Uh, it is not uh, concluded until the final point. Of course. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to uh, Deidre's performance because uh, I've seen her win some couple of matches. Which I wasn't even expecting because I was like, um, she's a doubles player, so yes, yes. it would be very difficult for her to adjust to singles game and stuff like that. But she has been performing 
are slightly good in the all other tournaments, all other uh, games. So I'm looking forward to this particular game against Dockers. That is quite some unforced error from uh, DJ. What do you think? Say, sorry, say again, uh, she lost some couple of points, and it was quite an unforced error from her without uh, opponent joining her or something. I, th I think it's st it's still early, and okay. early in the game. She's still getting, you know, both both of them are still getting into it. Um, so I think she'll still play herself into this match. Um, five eight. I think it's it's still close. It's still early stages. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Yeah, early stages, uh, more first error is common and uh, getting into the game matters the most in between. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good attacking play there from Deirdre. Um, putting Dorcas under pressure there in the back corner and reading her there at the net. That was a very good plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got got her under pressure there at the, in the back corner and um, followed up followed on the net. Up. Yes. yes. Oh, good flick service there from Deirdre. Oh, just wide it seems. Yeah. Unlucky there? Yeah, unlucky. Oh, it's got 11-6, Dorcas up there at the interval. Yeah. Um, I yeah. think she's maximizing the uh, uh, opportunities on court and yes, she's yes, using yes. it uh, um, against the Deidre. But um, I mean, Deidre also have a plan, right? Yes, of, co of course, yes. And I think at the, it might change, you know, maybe after this interval she might um, start taking a different approach after the interval, but I guess we'll see. Um, you know, if she cuts out one or two unforced errors, and it might, she might be able to catch up and um, still turn it her way. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that because uh, it's a very good match to watch. Yeah, yeah. And uh, talking about m a good match to watch, it uh, looks like uh, Uganda and Nigeria also are uh, also giving it their ultimate best in this court. Yes, um, what is I know what is the score here by um, Algeria and, U and Uganda at the moment? It's two. Lo I think Uganda's up. No, no, one love. Eh? One, yeah, one, one, we yeah, one love. Uh, uh, major scores. Okay, and it's yeah, it seems quite close here now with um, Yasmin and uh, Usina. Um, Yasmin up here ten eight. Um, also d doing it really well, and it's also I think it's also a match that you know can go any way as well. You know, of course, of course. Looking at uh, what they have been playing this morning, uh, uh, Shiba is like 11-8 um, right now, and uh, that was a very good uh, that was a very good game from from her. You know, I think also like it's, it's knockout badminton. You know, it's a semi-final like. Anything can happen, you know, like it's not a, I think Uganda, or, um, they have a really strong team, you know, mm. I think um, they're ba really balanced, but I think anything can happen on a given day, you know, it's knockout, badminton, pressure, you know, um, yeah. if Algeria play well, they could even, they could maybe, you know, beat Uganda, Yeah. like anything can happen, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, looking at anything that can happen, they do have gotten some few points right now from, uh, from Dokas and it was very good points. Good defense from Deirdre there. Uh, of course, of course. And the uh, doctors oh. also had a very good attack from there. Yes. Yes. Nice counter attack, uh, changing direction.
Oh, good, nice down the line smash there from Deirdre. Um, hitting the line there, um, moving Dorcas around there on the back line and just clipping the line there on the straight down the um, straight smash. Oh, good smash from Dorcas there, um, punishing the off-court lift from Deirdre. Um, we have the score here now, 17-10 um, in Dorcas's favour. A few unforced errors you know, here from Dorcas, um, which puts Deirdre up here to 13-18. And I also see she's uh, opting for the double serve now rather than the uh, single serve. Unlucky there, missing the back line. 19-13. Um, Oh yeah, with uh, Uganda and Algeria. Um, Usina now up here, yeah, 16-14. Um, just taking, grabbing the lead here yeah, from um, Yasmin. Seems to be a very tight affair here. Yeah. 20 set point, 15. Um, Torka is now serving um, for the first set. First set won by Torka, 21-15. Um, just a few, un Deirdre coming back um, quite strong yet yeah, towards the end and just one or two unforced errors um, costing her the first set there. Hopefully um, she can come back strong yeah, in, the s in the second and hopefully um, she can uh, get grab that second set uh, for Team South Africa. back so <laughs> that was the match too far no Torka's taking it there 21 15 the other was coming back quite quite strong and uh, just wanted to hear it here towards the end uh, with Torka's taking this for the first set there 21 15 but John uh, court number two um wow Ushina has um turned it uh, turned it slightly around um taking the lead now 19 14 and the were a few unforced errors here from Yasmin towards the end mm. um changing the score up a bit there Short left punish there yeah, by Yasmin. Yes. That was a very good attacking to yeah, by the yes. way. Hmm? Two straight points. Two points. Two Another nice attack in Pantinia yeah, from Yasmin. Um, taking it off the net there on court number two. 
and uh, she's really. This is the fourth point. It's getting really close here. Yes. Beautiful and straight down the line up, attack. Yeah, right? she has to go all out for that point. And that's bringing up some set point, set points opportunities for for Usina. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Cross court whip there. That was a good, good change of direction, attack, eh? Yeah. And yeah, uh, looks like uh, Dokas is really stretching uh, Didri out and. Um, it's really giving an edge over the game. What yep. do you think? Like pulling her all the way into the net, you know, yeah, yeah. utilizing the court. Yeah, exactly. Oh, beautiful straight smash there from Deirdre. Yes. Beautiful attack, eh? Also, she's been um, off the scene for so quite some time. Why, why yeah. is that? Um, you know, um, apart from the game, there's also life, and um, I think she got married. Oh, okay. Yeah, she got but. Oh, so yeah. okay, she, 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 has, a baby she has a little one. Yeah. Okay, okay. Which is quite good for her. Yeah, of course, yes. Yeah. So that's what's been keeping her busy and that because she's been off the off the international scene for quite some time now, mm -hmm. eh? For quite some couple of years. Yes, and uh, with that, she still <laughs> never really. Good slice from, from Deirdre there, from the the, big, the back yes. corner there. That was a very good slice. Good Reverse good slice, eh? Yeah. I see that Deirdre is rather opting um, for the double serve than the typical lady single serve. Yeah, and uh, looks like our strategy is to get Dokas all balanced so yeah. she can go for a quick kill. Yeah, yeah, giving yeah. the flick serve. Oh, misses that the misses quite, the uh, yeah misses that quite on for sale. But but I'm impatient there. I think uh, uh, missing that one. Another on for sale from Dockers. And that wide is oh. going wide. The last three quick three, quick yeah, three quick unforced yeah. errors just bringing Deirdre back here to five six here in the second set. Seems like Deirdre is really trying to change the pace, eh? Yes. Like playing our soft, bringing Dorcas into the net. Oh, long rally we have here. Eh? Yes, that was a very Ooh, good unlucky. save. Unlucky. That was a very good save from Dorcas. Yes, it was a good yes. Yes, I thought the rally has ended at that moment, but she actually did that backhand and it was yeah, and a very back, good eh? save. I think one of the best saves in the in this tournament. Yeah. <laughs> This place has a very good flight for the shuttles, so at least does the shuttle goes out. This all oh, has a very good flight for the shuttles. Oh, the, yeah, the shuttles are really slow. Yeah. It's out at the back. Yes. It's really slow, yeah. It's like almost you can, you can really put your button under pressure from, oh, yeah. from the net and to the back and flip. Them and a bit on the be back. very comfortable with yes. it. And then put them in the back. Score you now 10 5 here in the second set. Almost similar to the first, first um, 
Chris has said, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just a few other uh, that uh, were crossing today and the woods. Hmm? Uh, but I think she's quite... She's, uh, she's, she's still, still, yeah. yeah. Like you see, like everything Dorcas is taking more than one step. Yes, Just unlucky yeah. there, she's missed the punch she here. Missed, there. Yeah, but uh, it looks like she has a very good plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, back to well, num yeah. court number two. We have uh, uh, Yasmin up 5 4 now, yeah? Yes. She's really putting up a fight. Yeah, losing the first game after leading at, in the first set. That was a very good push pressure from uh, Kogubawi. Yeah, getting us me catching her under pressure there in the in the backhand corner. <laughs> oh, punch there from uh, just been just clipping the line here. Yeah. Play resuming on court number one, level six, um, with Dorcas in the lead. Oh. That was a good nice, shot. nice yeah. push, push there from yes. Dorcas. We least saw, least saw that opening. Oh, another nice push there. Yes, eh? yes, yes. The other Looks just, like uh, they both they both added in the end. Yeah, just reciprocating it there. That's quite a slice from from uh, Shiba. From, yeah, yeah, cross court, eh? Seems like. Uh, yeah. Wow, that was a good counter from uh, from Deidre, but Dokas was able to recover as fast as she yeah, could. She just put away this that short left there on the back end, you know. But it's almost like in the ball if you if you put under pressure at the back, end, it's difficult to clear, you know. Especially, especially if you put on your back end, the back end. Well, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Can't all the way to the back door, it's, it's too yeah, slow. Too slow. Yeah, Doc has uh, kind of uh, increased the pace a bit now. And uh, I think uh, they do need to really catch up. Oh, nice slow that drop there from Deidre. drop shot from Deidre. Deceptive uh, slow drop there. It's almost like you don't know what she's going to do, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The slow drop is really effective, eh? Like, uh, even when we were, we were, we were training here yeah, um, on prior to the tournament and we like the slow drop is really effective because it like the shot slows down so much and it draws you all the way in you know oh mm. seems to be playing this the point over here uh, mm. the umpire not pronouncing the score A bit, a bit short there from Deidre, the, the clear is falling a bit short, but nevertheless she, she still she got, she, still got yeah, the point there. Yeah. That was uh, quite an unforced error from Dorcas. She could have taken that point. Oh, unlucky. Missing the, the straight push there. That was a stretch. Good get there from Deidre. Yes. Oh, unlucky. Nice. Very good save from uh, Dokas. Yeah, good save, good yeah. Save. No, it was very, very good. She pulled it through Deidre all the way into the net there. Yeah. You know, because opening uh, up the court. That shot would have been a very good point. Yeah, yeah. Deidre. Oh. 
Oh, good slice there from Deirdre. Bringing us here to 12-17. No, Deirdre knowing how to, when to play uh, drop shots and the Dockers knowing when to save some shots, it's really a good matchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a, it's, it's a really good match, you know. Um, it's not over yet. Oh, nice change of nice direction thing, yes. there by Deirdre. Changing the smash here, um, fl flinging it across court. Oh, short lift, wow, just wow. as unlucky there, short lift from, from Deirdre and it's being uh, punished I, there. I think uh, it's because of the reception that uh, Dukas had. That was a very good um, plan against uh, Deirdre for that. Oh, good cross court punch there. Nice drag. Good block. Nice rally. Long, long rally. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. get there. Yeah. Good Another good get. Oh, unlucky. Oh. Just wide. Unlucky there from wow. Deirdre. I think uh, I think the experience of being a singles player really takes a lot. No, of this, course. I mean, uh, Dorcas is what she's been African champion before. Oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what type of stroke I is that? I don't know. I think she lost her footing there. Eh? Yeah, yeah. And she just tried to improvise for double stroke. <laughs> yeah. It has never really happened in singles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, bringing up match point opportunities, yeah. Um, match six match points yeah. um, for Dorcas. Oh, Deirdre taking her on there, yeah. eh? On the net, yeah. just as Dorcas just missing the brush there, the tap. Taking one of the match, one one of the match points is saved. Good serve. Oh, wow. what a finish. Oh, game set. Um, Torka's taking it there, 21-15 and 21-15. And, um, Which that, puts uh, Nigeria into the lead against South Africa, 2-1 in major scores. Yeah, 2-1, eh? Yes. And with the ladies' doubles coming up now, um, Ted, um, Nita and uh, Megan. Yeah. And then who are they They playing from Nigeria? Uh, they're playing against uh, Deborah Uke and uh, uh, Ramatu Yakubu. Okay. Yeah. It's also quite a very good match to watch because uh, I've seen uh, Jonita play some doubles match and she's also good. And yeah, uh, of course, yeah, you and uh, Jonita, she's she's proven herself on the, on the doubles court. Mm? She has a, a African uh, doubles title with uh, with Amy, um, and I think also her and Megan they used to play they used to play doubles together as juniors in South Africa. Mm. So the chemistry and the you know cohesion and all that it's there. So you know they are, they are now in partnership. So it will be, I think, a good game to watch. Okay. So looking forward to that. And um, while on that, we are still looking at uh, Yesmi really putting the pressure on uh, Usna from Uganda. Last point was spectacular. Technically speaking, what do you think about uh, the match in the in the morning? The match in the morning? Yeah. Which one? Which one? Against Mauritius. Oh, as when we were playing this morning, it was quite. It was a tough match. Um, you know, um, even with uh, with Robert White, that's not here. Um, you know, it's made it really tough. We're only four boys, so it's uh, you know, um, it's tough on the body. And you know, especially I was playing two 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 mat two matches each tie, and uh, I've had a 70-minute encounter against uh, your friend Godwin yesterday. So it was a hard match, you know. So the body is feeling it, but it was a tough match this morning. You know, um, it could have, I think, also, you know, if. One or two things went our way. Uh, 
it could have um, changed things a bit, but unfortunately, you know, you know, it didn't happen for it didn't happen for us today, and that's how sport goes. You know, you you win some and you lose some. Yeah. But yeah, it was a tough match, you know. But all credit to them, they they brought their side today and they they played much better than us. That was a very good one from you. Uh, that was a uh, a good match to watch also because I really enjoyed myself watching you guys uh, played and uh, giving your best in the uh, moment that matters the most. And uh, and uh, on the second court. Okay, so first, congratulations on your match today. So, what's your opinion about the match? Usna, uh, um, I must say, uh, the match is not over yet. We are just leading 2-1, and uh, we want to win the match. Not only this game, we want to win the tournament. So, we want to continue putting up our energy and keep focusing on winning. So, about your strategy in this match, are you going to change it the next match? Uh, no, no, no I'm not, we, we are not going to change anything. We, we are going to go the way we started. So, we are not giving up. Best of luck. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, back to the court one, uh, we have a pair of uh, Ramon. Uh, so, what's your opinion about Yacubo this? Kubo and uh, Deborah Uke okay, from Nigeria. Like Against Juanita. I've never played her before. Squat. Mm -hmm. and it was a very uh, tough match. The Don't beer. think I really got into it, didn't find my rhythm. From but uh, South Africa. To her, she played a good game. So, how about the next half? Major so count. Uh, two you're one. 2 1 now. So, what's about your uh, next uh, match? Africa what's one? your strategy for it? Well, coming into this fixture, our aim was always to win our number one singles, which Juanita did, and then to definitely win the two doubles matches. So we are getting very confident that the two double matches will bring us through and we'll take the win through too. Best of luck. Thank you. Yeah, I enjoyed that. It was really thrilling. Oh, when you were watching? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was literally jumping from one staircase to another. So back to court one where it really matters the most, especially for both Nigeria and South Africa. Anyone losing this match will take the either take the game to 2-2 two -two or take a one for the finishing uh, game. So hoping for a podium podium performance to of course my country and uh, hoping that uh, South Africa can take up the challenge and give their best for this game and change the tie of the score. Yamatu to serve and Juanita to receive. And uh, on court two, we have uh, Fadila, the last year African champion in South Africa against Tanina from Algeria. Quite a slow start from Ramatu. Yeah, it's 2-0, yeah. Um, Nita, it seems Nita and Megan are not, you know, holding back here right from the start and trying to get on top on top of the Nigerians here in the, in the game, eh? Yeah, yeah. What a difference from Deborah.
Ooh. Oh, nice change of direction there from Megan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Unlucky, just a bit loose there. Um, yeah. Megan playing a loose shot there at and the a net. Very good kill from Deborah. Had a chances and she took it. It's really important uh, in doubles, in the doubles, to to make sure that you you're playing solid, you know, solid shots to the net when you play it to the net, you know, not playing anything loose. Yes. Oh, good defense. Nice. Nice change of direction by Nita there. Just unfortunately, yeah. unf unfortunate, a bit short. Four, four. Oh, you, nice using the middle of the court nicely there. Again, just just playing playing the middle there, the center, mm. and uh, you know creating some opportunities there. Seems like the South Africans are really trying to take the pace off of the shuttle a bit to uh, try and force the, you know, the lift. Um, yeah. Taking the pace of the rather than hitting yeah. hard, you know, trying to get them to getting the Nigerians to lift a bit more. We have the score here now 8-4 in the favour of uh, the South Africans. That was a very good watch from De Boer. Oh, good, good change. Oh, yeah, yeah, just yeah. going wide. Yes, from just Nita. wide. Just wide. Flick serve there, just wide there. Yeah. Ooh. I think this is like a battle of... Uh, of service, huh? Yeah, two serves there, just two errors on the serve there. Eh? Nice. Good attack from Yakubu. The South Africans will have to try and try and change the pace here, but um, Trying to let the shuttle drop a bit shorter in front of in front of the opponents um, to get mm -hmm. to get the lifts and not you know just use power and power and power the whole time. Especially the Nigerians are known for their hard defense and getting everything back. Eh? Oh, just catching that was the tape quite there. A lucky shot, huh? <laughs> With a lot of pressure from uh, from Nigeria and the South African absorbing those pressure. Taking right us here to the interval, 11-8. With the South Africans in the lead. That was a very good composure of attack from uh, Yeah, Tanina, Tanina, yeah. yeah. Playing two punch clears, like getting it to the back, making, forcing uh, Fatila to turn. Yeah. And give, having a very good kill. Yeah. She gets it from the doubles, I think, you know, reading the game like that and, you know, <laughs> getting and forcing the opponent under pressure there. Good net play there from Fadila and Tanina.
Ooh. Back to uh, court one. Um, 39, yeah, for Juanita and Megan. Yeah. That was good pressure from Jacobo. Another service, right? another That's service error. error. Yeah, it's very, really important eh, in, in in the doubles to make sure of your serve and a good serve. Yes. Because that really tells a lot in the game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, catching the tape there, and follow. Oh, unlucky. Wait. So that brings recovered there, recovered nicely. Quite a spectacular save from Juanita. Left. Oh, just missing the smash there. Yeah. Um, did ya, Yakubu. Good response from uh, Nigeria, by the way, that shot, but unfortunately it wasn't for them. Oh. Nita just missing the, the opportunity, the tap there at the net. Unlucky. Hmm? Just snatching a bit of the there. Quite some first error for the game, or for this match, you think? Yeah, I think uh, the, the Nigerians are they're giving the attack away a lot. Yeah. Um, giving the South Africans the chance to, to attack a lot more than what they're attacking at the moment. Stop. Another net throw there, yeah. just catching the net. Good deception there by Juanita, sending uh, Sunday, Yakubi uh, yeah. the wrong way. Wow, what a smash from Yakubu.
Welcome back everybody in this uh, semi-final of the women's team event. For Nigeria, South Africa trying to get the second point and fight for a spot in final and a gold medal. But Nigeria is also fighting so hard, winning the second set in this woman double. Nigeria giving easy point for South Africa women double with a new pair from oh what a defense from Joanita giving them the opportunity to take back the attack and won a crucial point 8-5 for South Africa oh good good shot good shot from Joanita 9-5 unfortunately service fault from the beer another mistake from the South African pair giving the chance to Nigerian pair to stick to the score and just two point difference oh, nice 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 e interception from uh, from South Africa Ten seven. South Africa taking the attack Nice saving, nice saving from Joanita. And the break is for South Africa leading 11-7. While in the other, s other court, Algeria versus Uganda. The former the African champion from uh, Uganda, Fadila. Mohamed Rafi won the first set 21-19 leading 8-3 but Tanina is uh, looking to fix a pain in her foot in her feet in her foot okay now she's putting back her sock it looks like uh, she she's able to play again. Why Fadila is uh, trying to stay focused, making some uh, small jumps to stay warm. While in the come back, coming back in the first uh, court. 
12 sevens for South Africa, giving uh, to giving the the chance to South Africa to uh, have the opportunity to fight for a place in final. But Nigeria is not going to give it too easy to South Africa. Yeah, Nigeria is playing so much uh, shots in the middle. fight what a rally a long rally a nice uh, fight and defense from uh, the Nigerian pair nice interception from uh, Megan De Beer Service vote. Uh, it's so frustrating when you are uh, winning after a long rally point. Nice attack from Nigeria. Putting pressure on uh, Megan De Beer and sticking to the score. Another mistake uh, from Megan De Beer on the same side, on the l on the backhand side of Megan De Beer. It looks like she she had uh, she has something in her eyes. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. 13 12. Looks like there is a double touch. It looks like there is a double touch. The umpire uh, okay, Nigerian pair. Uh, Back on court. Calling for a service vote for South Africa. Fourteen all. Nigeria is Seven points to the final. Ah, South Africa is back. 15 14. 16 14. Nice backhand shots from Johanita.
it looks like uh, this game is a real 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 fight between Nigeria who uh, is willing to qualify for the final why South Africa is fighting for a spot another chance with an, another match a second uh, ladies double Nice uh, smash from the Nigerian pair on the backhand side of Megan the Bear. Oh, la 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 la. Service fault at this uh, stage of the match. We guess they are all shaking hands. We can feel in the two team sides the excitement and the real support from their teammates. Oh, and the match is won by South Africa. Is won by South Africa. Juanita Schultz and Megan De Beer has given uh, an, an, a last chance for South Africa to fight for a spot in final. We will look for the last match. Woman double number one for a spot in final. Hello Fadila. Hello. So uh, you just finished uh, your uh, uh, single. single? Uh, so how was your match? Uh, it was quite good, although uh, I made a lot of errors. The next match on court number one between South Africa, represented uh, by Amy Atkins you, you and were at the third match. Flores. So now uh, Nigeria, represented uh, by you, you, you give a point to the, your team. Adisuban What's your feeling? And Sofia uh, by uh, winning that, that match. By Jamal. Algeria. Serve the judge from Egypt. we can get the gold, it's not so Okay, so um, now you mentioned that uh, your goal is to uh, bring the gold to uh, your team. Um, so, how, how, what is your strategy and how are you implementing it? A really strong team actually, so I believe in them. So we're gonna be six and get Congratulations, and uh, we look for uh, look forward to see you uh, in final.
Bonjour Tanina, on va faire euh, l'interview en français. Euh, comment s'est passé euh, c'est, Qu'est-ce que tu pourrais nous dire sur ton, ton match euh, bah, Sur mon match, déjà, euh, ça commence à plus trash parce que bah, c'est le troisième tour euh, de l'Andan, donc ça, ça veut dire qu'on a perdu la rencontre. Donc euh, notre euh, compétition par équipe, elle s'arrête euh, en demi-finale. Après, Après euh, on se retrouve sur le match du même, après le temps du niveau de jeu que j'ai produit. C'est vrai que j'ai pas forcément euh, l'habitude de m'entraîner au niveau ensemble. Donc, euh, Faire les services dames, 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 dames,
uh, cheering for you uh, because the, we can feel the pressure. So what was the strategy for you uh, that uh, your coaches uh, asked you to, to put in place? So uh, now it's the last uh, match for uh, a spot in final. So um, what, what, what is your uh, feeling uh, regarding the last match? So we wish you good luck and uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you.
last game in this women's double between Nigeria and South Africa for a spot in final fighting for uh, fighting for a, a place and a medal between silver and gold first one first set won by uh, Nigeria with the pair formed by uh, Dorcas Adesokan and Sofia Obanishola. Three two for Nigeria against the women double from South Africa who are also fighting for a place to qualify for uh, Olympic Games that will happen in uh, Paris this summer nice attack from Amy Ackerman for three for South Africa. Amy to serve. It looks like uh, Nigeria found a place where uh, South Africa are not comfortable. Service vote from Nigeria. You can feel the pressure in this last match by doing some uh, mistake on service. Eight six for South Africa. Oh, nice, nice, nice defense. Uh, Nice contra-attack from uh, South Africa. From Amy Ackerman.
The break is led by South Africa, Amy Ackerman and Deidre Lawrence is uh, bringing the South African women's team closer to the spot for the final. We can uh, notice that uh, the body language of coaches are uh, different between uh, Nigeria and South Africa where uh, in Nigeria it was really uh, to encouraging the late the women's pair to fight while in South Africa it was to control points uh, won by uh, Nigeria Nice attack from Deidre and Amy. Pressuring. Sofiet on her defense. Nice following up and rotation from the South African pair. Putting a lot of pressure on the uh, Nigerian pair that is uh, still fighting to win a point. Nice return from Dorcas. Dorcas intercepting uh, a shot. In the net. Direct shot. It's really a game of uh, flat shots between uh, both pairs. Try to not give the attack to uh, anyone. Uh, nice shot from Deidre Lawrence. Seventeen ten for South Africa. Another mistake from Nigeria, from Sofia.
Nice attack from Nigeria. points for South Africa close to the spot for final but Nigeria didn't say their last word 11-19 had to serve oh nice 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 shot Will Nigeria come back to 90 long? We already saw this scenario. Oh no. It looks uh, difficult for Nigeria to uh, come back and stick to the score. Serving to... And the uh, second set won by South Africa, 21-12. A last set for a spot for the final of this women's team event of the All Africa Senior Championship qualifying for the Total Energy Uber Cup in Chengdu, China.
to all 3-2 exactly for uh, South Africa in this uh, third and last set. Nice, 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 nice defense from uh, Nigeria. Very nice defense. South African pair, uh, Amy and Adre, still in front. Five all, Nigeria coming back to the score. Nice attack from Dede Lawrence from South Africa, bringing a point closer to the break. Dorcas asking to her partner to calm down. You can feel the stress pressure on this last point.
same shuttle uh, in the same place on the backhand side of us. Uh, nice, nice return. Uh, nice return from the Adri Rowans. Bringing uh, South Africa to lead this last set. Last battle, last part of the this match to fight for a spot in final. A very aggressive uh, pair on South Africa pair, South Africa side. Sorry. Rally. Nice, nice, nice attack from uh, Ackerman with uh, her flat shot who give her the chance to finish the point. Flat game, flat game. Nice, nice attack, uh, flat game until the, the one who give the opportunity to the opponent to attack is really important. It looks like this strategy is working on South Africa side, giving the opportunity uh, for them to lead 14-9, being close, closer and closer to the final uh, spot. We call them lucky shots. <laughs> With the uh, final attack of uh, Amy Ackerman. <laughs> South Africa pair are very, very, very aggressive. Both players are going very fast to the front, taking uh, the opportunity to uh, keep the attack. Strong smash from Dorcas, but uh, looking to not controlling. We can feel uh, from Nigerian side some uh, some nervosity, trying to keep calm. Nice interception. Nice defense. Cross defense, Dorcas. Oh, 
they are saving the old shadows. Very, very, very nice rally. Very nice rally. Winning point for Nigeria. Encouraging herself and her partner. Too many, too many mistakes from uh, South Africa. It's now uh, the third one. Nigeria having the opportunity to coming to come back closer to the score with only three points different. Very nice attack from Deidre Lorenz. in the middle between uh, the two players from Nigeria disturbing the strategy Mistake at 19. It's really difficult. But we saw Nigeria fighting so hard. Defending nice. Nice defense from Dorcas. 15 19. Four point difference. Two points for South Africa to qualify for the final. Match point for South Africa, match point. Match. <laughs> and it's South Africa who won the spot for the final. It was a really nice, nice match.
feel after the match? That you were counting on you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Congratulations one more time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 